A bevy of information today about COVID-19 vaccines in BC, including substantially increasing the number of people getting third dose booster shots. We're expanding to approximately 100,000 people, individuals in British Columbia who will receive an invitation for their third dose. And these are people who are moderately to severely immunocompromised. The list is determined by specialists treating a number of conditions. Notice is coming by next week. 15,000 extremely vulnerable people already on the list. For the rest of us, more soon. We'll have more to say about that in the next two to three weeks, not only about uh, Indigenous peoples and First Nations communities, but also the broader population in BC and whether and when uh, booster doses might be needed. Starting next week, as long-term care residents begin receiving their third doses, visitors are going to have to prove they're fully vaccinated. That's also the deadline for long-term care health workers to have at least their first shot. If there are people who are currently unvaccinated, at the end of day, on October 12th, they will be going on leave of absence without pay. But they must commit and, be, and receive their second dose uh, get by 35 days after their first dose. This ultimatum affecting all health care workers by the 26th. That's also when visitors to hospitals will have to prove they've had two doses. Bottom line, Dr. Henry says, is heading into cold and flu season and seeing even younger unvaccinated people get very sick with COVID. We all need all the protection we can get. This strain is causing more severe illness and our best tool to protect ourselves is to be vaccinated. For City News in Victoria, I'm News 1130's Lisa Yuzda.